Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode in our Ultimate Road to Glory series and in today's one we are going to be trying out a new Man of the Match card that's only just been released onto the game, it is Mares, and his stats look unbelievable and the team that we're playing him in, I'm wanting to try out some of the monthly reward cards that we received, informs, legends as you know, the team is just stacked and ready for divisions. Before we go and play with that squad, I want to talk to you guys about the most recent weekend league and we fell short. Elite 2. Elite 1 is always the aim just to get those two team of the week packs. Elite 2, we finish on 33 wins. So one win away and one of those losses was actually a disconnection. I went into the game, I pressed start to change up my formation and the game just kicked me. Why? I hate losing like that. I'd much rather just get beat fair and square than receive a loss where it's for no apparent reason. It was one of those weekends where the gameplay I just felt was against me. I couldn't adapt to the slow gameplay. I had delay. It was just awful. I wasn't playing well. The game didn't feel good. Those two as a combination just don't mix well. So 33 wins out 40. I think I did well to get ourselves into Elite 2. So at the end of the world, we get still one of those Team of the Week packs. Have the possibility of pulling the best player from the team of the week. Unlikely, but there's still a chance. So 33 wins out of the 40, it's okay, not the end of the world. They're also bringing out a patch, by the way. They're changing the match screen, they're changing the latency bar. God knows what that's gonna do to the actual game. When they start patching, they break things. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the transfer market before we meet the new team. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys where we stand with the transfer list. I've sold these players on literally just to free up some coins for that Mara's purchase. Semedo, Cabrat, Pizzi, and Allen that we packed in the last episode. Also, would you like me to have an extensive club clear out where I sell all the players that I'm not using? Or do you think that's a bad idea as for future SPCs, we won't have those players available to us? Let me know, because in the league you have, well, the league SPCs, Liga Nos players, Liga Un, we don't have a Serie A one yet. Well, all the league SPCs, those players from that league, shall I sell them on? I don't know what I want to do right now. So if you can give me some advice, that would be much appreciated. One thing to note, EA are going to be patching the SPC glitch. There's a formula going around where you use 284 cars, the rest 83 and 80 or 81. Whatever that team gives you as the overall rating, it shouldn't be the case. So moving on. I don't think the 84 rated cards are going to be as important. They're still good as they're high rated players. I just don't think they're going to be hitting 10,000 coins as they have been doing recently. So if you are someone that is investing in these cards, pay attention to that because you might lose some coins. But with Shawcross and all of my other investments, I've got Shemichael in um, in the trade pile. I'll sell them on eventually, but we we'll we have to wait. See what EA have in mind with future SPCs and we might be able to make some coins. So yeah, that's where we stand with the transfer list. Let me know, would you like me to do a club clear out? You decide. And there he is, boys. 87 rated Man of the Match, Mares. I bought him for 370,000 coins, which I don't think is a bad price. I can't see Mares receiving a better version anytime soon. For Leicester, he's gone off the ball a little bit. He definitely hasn't been as good as he was last year, which is understandable though. It's difficult for him to replicate that form. He's still got the quality, we just haven't really been seeing much of Mares at all. His stats though look very nice. Good pace, dribbling, passing and shooting. And I've kept him with the base, basic chem style to give him that natural boost and see what he can really offer for the team. He's got five star skills and we will be popping them in today's episode. Another player that I wanted to speak about was Ibrahimovic. I did play a couple of games with with him in the foot champions weekend league he just didn't really cut it as the gameplay wasn't suiting someone like him i just didn't feel comfortable at all so i had to go back to a and allow him just to tear it up for me ibra though i've been advised to play him in a cam position as i've recently changed up my custom tactics i'm going to see what he can do as striker and then maybe halfway through a couple of the games i might even change up to the 41212 and see what he can do there but as we do have martial and mares to be playing off of ibra i think it's best that we play ibra in that striker position. Another player is Tevez. This guy just reminds me of one of those Rooney type players that can get away playing as a centre mid. He's got the high to high work rates, the aggression, the strength to win back the ball. I think he's going to be very good. Not only coming back on the defence, but going forward. And another player is this man right here. Lopez from Benfica. He looks insane, man. I went out and purchased an anchor chemistry style. His pace now goes up to 74, which I think is perfectly fine. And his defending and physical stats are just unbelievable. Hopefully he does perform with Laurent Bonk today. And the rest of the team, as you know, it's just basically the usuals. We've got Vieira, Kante, Walker, and this guy in the left-back position, Tagli... 
Tagliafico, not sure how you pronounce his name. But these are my custom tactics that I've uh, recently changed up to. It's pretty good for the 4 3 2 1. So if you're someone that enjoys that formation, then note these down, give them a go. I've been changing them recently and I'm wanting to find just that perfect custom tactic to best suit the team and the players. Anyway, let's jump into some division matches and see how we get on. FIFA 12 was the best, is his team name, and he's got that 4 1 2 on 2 side. Giuliano, striker, very good. He is playing very reserved. He's not really committing too many players right now. I'm going to fizz that into Ibra. I've got Mares making the run over the top. Fantastic start already. What's his dribbling like? Oh, he feels very smooth. I've got to say, cross that in. Big header, Ibra. Ooh, nearly a good start. That's it, good play. Look for the one-twos, Ibrahimovic. He's got nice dribbling, Ibra. And what a pass that was to Conte. I rushed the shot, to be honest. Oh, the rebounds. No, Witzel's got the strength past me. Oh, that was lovely. What a goal. Can't say anything about that. That was a really nice goal. One thing that is annoying about this guy, though, is he's not really fully committing in the midfield. He's just holding back with his whole team, and it's difficult for me to break through. Give it back to Ibra. Nice. Can't say. Take your time. Through to Ibra again. Mares is there. Finesse Mares. Instant reply, guys. Lovely positioning. He just waited. Waited for that right time for the ball to come through. And it's a good finish. Corner coming in. Julio says our fancies that big punch. Can we win that, Martial? What is going on with the connection? Why is it lagging? Go on, Ibra. Ibra wants it over the top. He hasn't really got the pace to run onto it. Come on, I need support. Ibra. Berber spin, through ball, lovely, and it's Martial. Oh, that was a heavy touch, but he managed to finish it off. Good work from Ibra, and I think that's what most people use him as, just that playmaker, smack it up to him, him to hold on to it, and just feed your other strikers. Good work. Halftime it is, 2-1 at the break. We did well to respond and then get into the lead. Martial has been playing well, Maris feels good on the ball, and Ibra hasn't lost an aerial battle yet. He's a beast. Keep going, Martial. Oh, he just got an interception on that. Martial's going to win it, though. I feel it. Yes, he's got those physical stats. Really quick turn. Ibra's in space. Can he put that through ball to Carlos Tevez? Good interception. Carlos Tevez coming short. That'll do. Have I got a penalty? Well, that was pretty weak. That was a 50-50, and he has been carded for it as well. Let me see this again. Was it a penalty? Did he just punch me in the chest? I've got a new penalty, guys. So you start over here, then you start running like this. Oh no, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's just lagged. <laughs> it's lagging. Oh my god, it started lagging. <laughs> I can't blame the lag. That was a terrible penalty. Another pass has gone straight back to me. Ibrahimovic, though. I feel that every pass is just going slightly behind. This is alright. Mares. Go on, Mares. What a goal. He has been deadly, actually. Two shots from Mares, two goals, and he feels very smooth on the ball. So in the end, guys, it did finish 3-1. Every single player in our attack is smooth and responsive. Martial, Ibrahimovic, and Mares, the MIM. So previously, with my custom tactics, I was telling my team to set up very narrow. And although I did enjoy that in the attack to quickly pass a move, I've become very predictable over time. So I'm having to change up my whole structure of the team. So in defense now, I don't have that extra man to rely on who's right next to me. It's a little bit more spread out. So I have to be precise and pinpoint with my tackles. So I'm, I'm reworking my whole game. I'm starting to learn how to defend like this. And in the attack though, it's so much better. They're just spread out. I've got so much space to work with. And in the last uh, game, it really did show when Mares was in space, Ibrahimovic, and also Martial. Tevez actually was quality in that last game. He was working really hard with those high to high work rates. We are ready for the second game, guys. Let's go. What is this team, guys? He's got loads of special cards. He does have um, a elite kit, I think. So he's definitely a good player, but I don't know what he's doing with that team. Ibra win this or Patrick Vieira. We got two big men in the line, so it doesn't really matter who it goes to. That was good dribbling from Ibra. Good passing. Quickly put through Martial across. <laughs> I tell you what, in today's episode, I'm hitting it early, and Martial is taking that extra touch just as well he's good to find the back in there. Good link up though, I like that. He's done me there with Pizzi. Laurent Blanc. He's got Suzoko making the run through. <sighs> That Lopez guy, he has been awesome. Seriously, been making some fantastic tackles. Mares, great work from Mares. And he's put through Ibra. Has he got the burst? Oh, go on, Ibra. Go on, smack it across. Come on, Ibra. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, 
this game, I swear to God, those rebounds are annoying when they happen against you and it's not really a good goal, but Ibra did good to just burst away from his man. Oh dear, can we get over with Walker? What a tackle, actually. I usually say that uh, Nathaniel Klein is better than Walker in terms of tackling, but that was fantastic. Can Ibra get onto this? Yes, he can. Hit him with the ball roll. Oh, that was lovely. It was delightful. Patrick Vieira to finish off the attack. Damn. 2-0 at the break and we've had 11 shots on target in the first half. I don't know what team he's using. He's not bad actually. He just isn't really giving himself the best of chances using that formation and that team. Not good look. Is he going to play it back to me? Mares with the challenge. Give it back to Mares. Finesse. Oh, that was a good goal actually. There was literally no power up with that at all. He struck the ball instantly and it goes in. Great goal. Is this one going to be played short? That's going front post. Yes, Lopez again. His, his heading is ridiculous. Oh, that turn from Ibra. Go on, Ibra. Go on, Ibra. Yes. He can't push me off the ball. <laughs> he can't push Ibra. <laughs> he couldn't push Ibra off the ball because he's too bloody strong. Let's go. What strength. And his pace wasn't so bad there. But Marquinhos, no way. Connection has been lost with your opponent. That means one thing. He's race quit. He's gone. Ibra destroyed him. There is one player in this team that I thought was going to play well, but not this well. Very underrated. 82 rated Lissandro Lopez. 70 dribbling. That's one of the reasons why I like Laurent Blanc so much, because he's comfortable in possession. If you fizz it into his feet, he's not going to let you down. So if you do enjoy the Liganos or Liganos players in general, then make sure to bring this inform card into your squad. I don't think he's going to let you down at all. 84 defense, 84 physical. His stats are just mental. If you apply the anchor chem style, he's a beast. The only player that is, yeah, not that great is obviously the left back right there. And with me changing up my custom tactics, I believe that Bremer will find his way back into the starting 11. It was a mixture between the way Bremer was playing and also my custom tactics just really wasn't suiting a player like him. So with me recently changing them up, I think he's going to be a main guy for our weekend league team. Anyway, we're fully fit. We're ready for the last game of the episode. Let's do it. Last game it is, and we recognize every single one of these players. Most of them are good. I wouldn't really use Trippier in the left, uh, sorry, in the right back position. Carl Walker is your man, or Nathaniel Klein. My players in this game are just taking that extra touch right now, which is a little annoying. Lovely Berber spin though. I was looking for that overlap. Yeah, the ball just doesn't really seem to be wanting to go to the correct player. I've got Ibra though. Go on, Ibra. Look at that beast. Oh, unlucky. I'm waiting for that Mares run, to be honest. Good. Good positioning. A scoop turn him. Oh, well, <laughs> do that instead. Mares with the little swivels. Oh, Carlos Tevez actually struck that really well. And it's coming out to Patrick Vieira. Hit it. What's he doing? Oh, I'm offside. What? I was smashing it. And it didn't even register. I'm waiting. Good run from Carlos Tevez. And again to Laurent. What the hell is Laurent Blanc doing there? I'm sorry. Why are you in a striker position? Dear, oh dear. Maybe that was me and I accidentally held LB when I was looking for the pass. Martial is through though. That's going to be a goal. What a save. Who's he got in goal? Is it Butland? Gone. Ibra. Back heel. Scoop turn. Martial with the finesse. That's not going to be saved. What a goal. Nice link up. Ibra is actually fantastic because you can just play into his feet. Hold LT so no one can get around you. That's with good gameplay. But during the weekend league, sometimes shielding doesn't work. And that's where Ibra just isn't as effective. Good challenge. Carlos Tevez, man. This guy is like born to be a centre mid. He is doing work for me right now. And I can see Mares over the top. Lovely takedown. Go on, Mares. Chip him. Oh, man. That is delicious. That was with a, his weak foot as well. A weak foot chip. He's going to rage quit. What a goal for Mares. It's not usually that I'd purchase a player like Mares and want to keep him at the club. 370,000 coins. Yes, it is expensive. Do you think it's a good idea to keep him? Will he go up in price? Will he drop? Even if we lose coins right now, if we were to sell him on, I wouldn't mind too much because I've had the opportunity to try out the card. Three games, four goals, all in Division 1. And he feels fantastic, man. I think even with the Hunter Chemstar, he'll be playing even better. And he was tearing it up for me. Really, really good. If you've got some coins together, then try and bring in someone like Amaris. He's basically the Premier League Messi because of his dribble. I don't know. No, he is really good. The team, like I said, it was awesome. Ibra was turning up. Martial was playing quite well. Carlos Tevez in that centre mid position. Underrated, man. He was 
actually a beast. I'm surprised how good he was at tackling. Obviously, Vieira and Kante, the custom tactics were working just an absolute dream. Really pleased that I've changed it up and I need to just learn. It is not complete yet. The defense is still sketchy when I am uh, sort of dropping back with my players. It's a learning process and hopefully we can learn it quickly. Otherwise, we're going to fail in the weekend league. Anyway, if you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like. Let me know what you want to do in regards to club clear out and keeping Mares. Just let me know. And if you have enjoyed, drop a like and I'll see you soon. Team out. Whoops.